Finding funds for your projects is not easy. Trust me, I've been there. And I know how it is to just have your designs ready and just scroll through your huge font list trying to find that perfect font. That's why today I want to share with you the only 10 fonts you will ever need as a UX UI designer. Now I want to mention that before I pick these fonts, I made sure that all of them fulfill at least 90% of the accessibility criteria from accessibility.digital.gov and Google's accessibility and typography. And the criteria is the following. The font needs to perform well when it's small or large in size. It needs to have a large X height, anywhere between 65% and 75%. The typeface needs to support all characters and font styles that are needed. The individual letter forms need to be distinct in shape and can be confused with others. For example, I, L, and 1 need to be distinct and also 0 and O. And the last one is that the letters open counters need to be large enough so that the letters like C and E can be easily distinguished. Now the first font in our list is WorkSense, which is a Google font created by Wei Huang. The font itself gives me this balanced look and contemporary appearance. Nothing too crazy. Just a simple, reliable font that you can use across multiple projects. Now if we look at the X height, we can see that this is around 70%, which is really good. The X height, by the way, is the distance between the baseline and the main line of the lower characters in a type so the distance over here basically represents 70% of the total height of the font. When we view this font in dark mode, it appears clear and the letters are easily distinguishable. And if we check this out to see how it will look when used in our interface design, we can see that it doesn't look bad at all. One thing that I appreciate about this font though is its subtle personality, especially noticeable in the letter T, which gives it this interesting look. The next one is Inter, designed by Rasmus Anderson. And I think that this one is one of the most used fonts out there when it comes to UI design. This font will work with any project. So if you're looking for a one-trick pony that you can use on all your projects, personally, I will go with this one. The only drawback I can see is that the letter I and L are very similar, so you might get in situations where these two letters can be confused. But besides this flaw, this is a very solid font. It also looks good in dark mode, and if we look at how this looks in the context of an interface, again, I think this is doing a very good job of making your designs look clear and modern. The third font on this list is Futura, designed by Paul René and it was designed back in 1927. It was created in the Bauhaus design style and it's based on geometric shapes. That's why when you look at the letter O, you can see that it's a perfect circle. In my opinion, I don't believe that this font is suitable for all types of projects. However, when it comes to creating digital products within the entertainment space or digital agencies, I highly recommend using this font. It particularly shines in dark mode and what I find appealing is this unique character it adds to your design, especially noticeable in the letter M, which has a very distinct and captivating look. Let's take a look at the next font, which is Space Grotesque, designed by Florian Karsten. This font gives me kind of like that funky vibe that works really well for projects that are aiming to evoke that sense of like 80s or 90s nostalgia. The X height is 71% which is okay. It has a relatively good legibility when the text is small, it works well in dark mode, and it gives your designs a very distinct look. Not sure why, but when I look at this font, I always think about old school coding interfaces or indie style websites. Now the next one is the only premium font on the list, and that is Helvetica, designed by Max Medinger and Edward Hoffman. Again, same as Enter, this is a font that goes with pretty much anything. The X height is around 72%, it has a very good visibility when the text is small, also works well in dark mode, but when it comes to our accessibility criteria, this fails one of them. I and L are very similar, almost identical I will say. So if accessibility is your main criteria, you should have this in mind. But when it comes to actual looks, this font goes really well with any design. Trust me, you cannot go wrong with this font. Sixth on the list is Open Sans, and is designed by Steve Mattson. Again, a font that will not disappoint, but it will not impress anyone either. But it's very reliable, especially when you're concerned about accessibility. 
although I will argue that Work Sans is a better option. But it works well in dark mode and it looks good on most UI designs. So it's a pretty solid font. Now let's talk about one of my favorite ones, which is the Urbanist. And it was designed by Corey Hu. This is a Google font that I've used quite a lot in my projects. And to be honest, is one of my favorite ones. But I'm not sure how many people know about it. It's that kind of like font that flies under the radar. It goes extremely well with any design. It's easy to read. It has that X height of approximately 69%, which is that sweet spot. Works well on both light and dark themes and also it looks extremely well on just about any design. It's well balanced, versatile, tons of fun weights, has this nice distinct M shape just like Futura, that perfectly rounded O and I love how the R is shaped and how it almost rounds around the letters. It's just amazing. I simply love this one. On number eight we have the DM Sans which is similar to Open Sans just like the name but it has a few differences. One that is most noticeable is the shape of the letter A and C. This again is a font that you can just slap on any design and it will work perfectly. Has an X height of 69%, works well in dark mode, the text is easy to read, and it makes your designs look clean and balanced without standing out too much. Personally, I would choose this one over Open Sans if I would need to choose between these two, but that's just a personal preference. On number nine, we have Cabin by Rodrigo Fuentes. Zalida, if I'm pronouncing its name correctly. If not, I'm sorry. This is a really nice font with an X height of 66%, so a bit towards the lower side of the spectrum, but I still think that it works really well when you have designs with tons of text. Works well on dark mode, no issues here, and it looks good on actual designs as well. And lastly, we have Lotto which is a well-known and reliable font as well. Now, I'm not a huge fan of it, as it's not quite as versatile as some of the other fonts. But what I do like about it is that it has a distinct character. If you look at the letter A and T, you'll see that these letters have quite a unique and distinct look. The X height is around 70%, it looks good on light and dark themes, but when used in designs, you need to be mindful that some of the letters get connected. Again, nothing bad about this, it's just that it has quite a unique look when you're using it in your designs. So you need to be mindful about this. And as honorable mentions, I have the Bibas New and the Playfair Display. And although I cannot recommend these fonts to be used as your main fonts for any UI projects, because one, they don't meet any accessibility criteria, nor can they be used as body text. The reason why I wanted to mention these two fonts is that if they are used only as headings, and in combination with other fonts, they can give you a very unique look to your projects. Especially Beba's new, as it always reminds me of old mafia movies. So when you're looking to create some designs that stand out, definitely have these two fonts in mind. And because you lasted all the way to the end, I want to mention that if you want all of these fonts, you can download them from the link in the description, except the Helvetica one, as that's a premium one and I'm not allowed to share it. Now let me know in the comments which one of these fonts is your favorite one and also let me know which font you think is the worst font ever created. Besides comic sense of course. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. If if someone hears me talking about fonts like this, they will think that I'm crazy like what the hell are you just saying? It's just letters. It's just what's the difference between them? But yeah, when you do design for such a long time, these things are exciting, <laughs> which is sad. It's very sad.